joy or happiness, success or failure, peace or dismay. The foundations of our life rest on the words we receive. A word of hope and guidance, translated from the Temple of Solomon in Brazil. You're listening to a word of faith with Bishop Macedo. Univer Video is your platform for Christian content, and it gives you access to the church meetings of the Universal Church around the world, and they are in English. Even the meetings at the Temple of Solomon that provide live, simultaneous translations to English. All you have to do is sign up, and this is how: visit www.univervideo.com online. Or download the application on your mobile device and complete the simple registration form. Have your bank card ready and choose your terms of payment. And before you know it, you'll be up and running. Stay connected to the things of faith during the 21 days fast of Daniel. Hello, my friends. May God bless all of you and bless, giving you understanding, giving understanding or revealing His will to the life of each one of you. And when He reveals His will for us, automatically He is giving condition. For us to do this will, he gave us the discernment of what is his will, and just after, he also gives the condition for us to do it. And this is called faith, the supernatural faith, the faith that brings the answer from God to us. See. We have talking about the will of God, and when we have conscience of the will of God to our life, then we have courage, we have strength, we have discernment, we have conditions to. Do that will, and once it's done, God is pleased with us, and He reveals more things of His will, and we live this way from faith to faith, and by faith in what God is giving us. God is Father. Everybody has to understand that God is Father, and the Father all. Father wants the best for their children. The true Father, imagine the eternal Father. He wants the best for us. But the best for us is what He wants is His will. That's why He gives us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, it's impossible to do the will of God. It's impossible. Because without the Holy Spirit, how are you going to know the will of God for your life? He, the Holy Spirit, is the one who reveals the will of the Father for us in the name of Jesus. That was how it happened to Jesus. Jesus, all the time, he was doing the will of the Father because he was guided, directed by the Holy Spirit. So, you who wants to have a different life, a life separated from this world, if you want to have a life of quality, then you have to hear the voice of the Eternal Father, the Eternal God, and obey it. And so, it happens to the children of this world, the children of the common parents. I remember that my father always taught us, guiding and saying 
And, and we had to obey, because if we didn't obey, he was tough. We would be punished. So, what happened? God doesn't punish anyone. He corrects, but he doesn't punish. But he, when he gives the direction to our life and we do it, we do the direction he gave, he is, let's say, glorified in us, sanctified in us, because we are doing his will, we are pleasing him. And obviously, when we please God, we are pleasing ourselves, because His will is our well-being. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Pay attention. When you please God, doing His will, you are pleasing yourself, because He wants the best for us. He wants so much, so much to have communion with us that He gave us the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit then guide us, teach us. But one thing we have to observe, the Holy Spirit does not impose, He does not force, He is always subject to our spirit, to our mind. That's it. The Holy Spirit, He does not impose His will. He teach, He guides. And when we do not obey, He doesn't do anything. But we are going to reap the fruits of that disobedience because we are going to do what is our will and as a result we are going to have problems because our will is always going against the will of God. It's what the Apostle Paul said, the one who so in the flesh, the one who sow from the flesh will reap from the flesh death. But the one who sow in the Spirit, who obey, who is subject to the Holy Spirit, he will reap life and eternal life. So I would like you to think about these words because Abraham was a man who God called he chose him to make of him the father of faith of those who believe in God. He said, the verse here says, By faith, Abraham, when he was called, he obeyed. He obeyed, going to a place that he would receive as his inheritance. He obeyed. And he left not knowing where he was going. Not knowing where he was going. Today, with the direction of the Holy Spirit, we know where we are going. We know what is expecting of us. What is expecting. We know... We have the map that the Lord Jesus gives us in His words, in His teachings. So, when we obey God, we follow the path, we walk the walk of life. Even if we face problems, difficulties, we will remain, we will prevail. The problems, the difficulties will not, by no means, destroy us. And I can tell you that because it is 58 years that I'm serving the Lord Jesus. And obviously that we are alive by the mercy, by the grace of Him, by His Spirit. But we have to be obedient, sacrificing our flesh, our self, every day.
every day, every day, every hour, every minute, every second, okay? We are ending here, and tomorrow we'll be back. God bless all of you, and until tomorrow. KG Helpline Call Center is open 24 hours a day, every day of the week, all year round. If you need help due to a serious problem you may be going through, if you feel that you have nowhere to turn to and desperately need someone to lend a listening ear, then we can help you. It doesn't matter who you are or what you have done, your religion or race. Your call will be answered by someone who genuinely cares about you and have your best interests at heart. We also arrange home visits for the housebounds and hospital visits for anyone in great need of kindly human contact. Whether it is simply information you want or desperately need someone to talk to, we're here for you. Oh.